Now this question, we're given that dy dx equals 20 all over x plus 1 all cubed and asked to find the d2y by dx squared. Now in order to do this, we have a fraction here, but I'm not going to need to use the quotient rule purely because I haven't got two functions of x divided by one another. What I'm going to do is use the chain rule. First of all, I'm going to bring the x plus 1 to the power 3 up to the top by calling it 20 multiplied by x plus 1 all to the power minus 3. And if I use the chain rule for this, I get that d2y by dx squared is equal to 20 multiplied by... Now, if I'm differentiating this by the chain rule, I nominate the x plus 1 to be my t value. And if you're not sure what I'm doing, I'll just quickly explain here that the chain rule, if you're trying to find dy by dx, is equal to dy by dt, say, multiplied by dt by dx. And if I let, let's say, y equal just x plus 1 to the minus 3, and let this value x plus 1 be t, then I would have y equals t to the minus 3 where t is the x plus 1. So, if I find dy by dt, the bit here, that's going to be minus 3t to the minus 4. So, I would write in here minus 3 multiplied by t to the minus 4. But t, you remember, is the x plus 1. So, instead of writing t, I'm just going to write x plus 1 to the minus 4. Then I need to multiply it by dt by dx, the differential of what I nominated t to be. And if I differentiate x plus 1, that's going to be just simply 1. OK, so that is what I get for the second differential. And all I need to do is just clean this up. So 20 times minus 3 is minus 60. And this is being multiplied by 1 over x plus 1 to the power 4, which would combine with the 60 just to give me 60 over x plus 1 to the power 4. OK, so I've now got d2y by dx squared. And the next part of the question asks me to find out the real values of x when d2y by dx squared equals minus 15 over 4. So when we have this particular situation, we now have minus 60 over x plus 1 to the 4 equals minus 15 over 4. So we'll just put that in there as minus 60 over x plus 1 to the power 4 equals minus 15 over 4. Well, clearly the negatives cancel one another out. And I could divide both sides by 15. And if I did that, I would get that 15s into 60 go 4 times, and 15 into 15 goes once. And if I now multiply both sides by say 4 and x plus 1 to the power 4, I'm going to get 4 fours of 16 equals x plus 1 all to the power 4. And if I carry on just down here, I now take the fourth root of 16, so we have x plus 1 equals the fourth root of 16, which is going to be plus or minus 2. So therefore, if I subtract 1 now from both sides, I can get that x equals either plus 2 minus 1, which is 1, or I have minus 2 minus another 1, which is x equals minus 3. So these are my two real values of x for which d2y by dx squared equals minus 15 over 4. 
And that brings us now to the end then of this question.